Hello again, in this short video class we will show you how to set a contact pair between BIM elements. We open the software again. We will define two beams with a contact pair. This example you will, will see that's very impressive because it will detect contact even with the real profile of, the, of each section. So I will define my two beams in contact, create one line and another line half a meter above you have them if you find a steel material the same for both and profile this one and I will mesh both with the same properties same section same size for the mesh I save it here I have my two beams meshed the top one will go down until contact is reached so find my boundary conditions I'll define this one will be a cantilever beam top one and the bottom one I'll set it as a clamped beam so I constrain all degrees of freedom I can check them here I will instead of setting a force I will impose displacement of some nodes of the top beam so I will define another boundary condition but in this case with a single displacement of some nodes um, in the vertical negative direction which is Z and uh, 30 centimeters these three nodes define my load case contact and I will add both boundary conditions one for the displacement you can check it here here the symbols for the displacement the first displacement I must define my contact contacted with the one of the bottom I'll define my contact pair by default it's a glue contact but I want to define a touching contact friction coefficient here need to solve and just always check to create incremental results because it's uh, a non-linear analysis and we will need to see partial results until the last lot case with convergence we go here we check that we have till six solved results it will divide the, the displacement in six parts until the full displacement of 0 0.3 meters so we can check partial results for example the displacement and always set the scale to one so we have the real displacement this is the first one we go to the last one here we can see on the last it went down 30 centimeters we can check stresses we have them how they contact and you can check always the contact very well and we can animate it here and set one with the stresses set the scale to one maybe the last one is not good for the results we can take it out
and here you have the animation you can you can save the video as well and another result we can plot our process and moments okay one beam and the other you have seen that it's very easy to define a contact and excellent results in, in beams which uh, are very difficult to obtain thank you very much uh, stay tuned always to our forum you can send an email we we are always there to support you thank you